Uh, well, Larry, we'll yeah. get it out of the way. We'll pull the plaster off. Ouch. Club on. Club on. Yeah, what went wrong? <laughs> what went wrong? Sure, they got beaten in every game, unfortunately. First time since 74 they've gone down. So that's heartbreaking stuff, I'll be honest. But look, when you don't win a match, you deserve what you get at the end of the year. And unfortunately, they saved their best for last, but it just wasn't good enough. It's just like it's gone from elation to depression. County final last year, relegation final yeah. this year. Yeah, hard to believe, you know, at the start of the year, when you look at the two groups, you would have fancied Clabon to at least get to the quarterfinal. So, look, I don't know, they had a few injuries. We don't have the biggest panel in the world and they were unlucky in a few of the matches and in the championship, it's all about momentum and you probably now have the two best teams in the, in the county final, which justifies the, the structure of the championship. OK, we'll park that now and we'll move on to the county final. <laughs> it's only a couple of days away. Yeah. Um, Eulert, well-seasoned team. Yeah. St. Martin's very young team. Which, which do you tip? Do you reckon youth will, will yeah, win? Uh, look, you, you can't beat youth and you'd love to see youth win and the Martins on a tremendous roll. They're, they just seem to be winning everything all around them. They're in, they're in the senior football final, senior hurling final. They're after winning the Camogie. Uh, I know unrelated, but like they're doing very, very well at minor. They obviously have won the under-21 hurling already and they're probably... We'd know this is, they'll probably win the football as well. So they're on a tremendous roll. It must be huge belief and confidence in the club. It's running through all the teams. Yet, you know, will football hurling, will, will that catch up with them in the end? When you look at Owlert, Owlert, both teams have been unconvincing so far in the semi-finals and probably the Martins were probably looking in the quarter-final to get through with the alley under controversial circumstances. So I, I, you just don't know whether it'll be too much for the Martins to get over the line. I, I think the Owlert have the guile and they seem to just to do enough, even in last year's final, to just did enough to get over the line against uh, Clubon. And sometimes you'd feel that the team that... that that's concentrating on one sport like hurling will 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 prevail. Personally, I think an awful lot will come down to the conditions. Like we're, they're expecting the next two days to be bad. I think Wexford Park will always be breezy. It'll make shooting very very hard. I think it, it might come down to the best free taker, Joe Coleman taking the freeze for for um, the Martins. You know, Joe has, has been a little bit erratic at times, and yet he's done very very well. And I think you know you look at Owlert and, and you look at Nicky Kirwan and Robbie Jacob and uh, Aurori, and they just seem to have a little bit more guile. I think, and I, I just lean by one score towards Owlert. Now, Joe didn't start the last day, mm. so I don't know whether he'll start the next day or not. I yeah. would have pipped Rory to be taking the freeze, maybe. Yeah, and Rory's a super, super, super talent, and like he got that great point at the end in the semi final to get and the quarter final. Yeah. So, you know, um, up and coming star, the Martins have all the names, the, um, the, the O'Connors and what have you. I would just fancy, I think, as I said, I just fancied a bit of guile to maybe get over the line. J just by a score, I think it'll be very, very tight. As I said, both teams were unconvincing in the semi final. Um, you know, it was nice to see. Our, our Gory and it was nice to see the raps for the town teams to to get to the semi final. It was interesting that all four club all four clubs came from the one group, which was a tougher group. So um, you know, and Owlert will go in with with a bit of belief that the bet uh, or sorry the Martins will go in after beating Owlert already in the championship with that bit of so they know that they can beat him. Owlert will probably be looking for a bit of revenge as well. But again, I think I think it'll come down to what happens within the sixty minutes. But um, just I, I'm going for that little bit of experience myself. So you reckon Owlert will do it on the day? Only by a score. I think it'll be very, very tight. I think, uh, um, and the Martins, you'd wonder, has playing every week going to catch up with them, you know, it, particularly if the game ke is kept tight. I do fancy at this time of the year, games are tight. No team seems to run away from another team because conditions can be tough. Isn't that the way it should be, though, when you get to kind of quarter final, semi final, and final stage? Yeah, but then you'd like to see a bit of form, you know. I, I would have said at the start of the year that you would have tipped probably Owlert and the Martins to possibly be in the final, but when you see Owlert at the start, or the Martins, particularly in the first couple of rounds, you think they were going to run away with the championship. So I think it's got closer. I think Owlert have learned uh, over the year how to win matches, you know, and they've done very, very well. But um, you'd wonder, you'd just wonder, have the Martins peaked too early? And you would wonder, is, as I said, playing hurling football every second week, and particularly with the extra football match, it, will it catch up with them? Fatigue will have to creep in, and particularly when it's the pitch is going to be leggy, it's, it's a big pitch, with, you know, and as I said, I think it's going to be windy on Sunday and you would just just lean towards Owler from just from that point of view only by a score I think it'll be very very tight